Days. Welcome back to my channel and to this week's plan with me. This week we are planning the week of June 15th to June 21st. Yes, you can say it. I have fallen behind again. But that's nothing new with this channel. You guys know that. So I'm just taking you through the kit here. So we are using a beautiful kit from Blackbird Print Co. I did use this use this. I did buy this kit quite some time ago now, um, but I didn't really have anything, like I've been, if you guys have noticed, I've been using a lot of like stay at home or like work from home inspired kits and I'm starting to run out because I've used them all and we're still working from home and we still have no ETA on when we're going back uh, to work. So I feel like I probably need to buy some more because I'm literally out. I have, I think, one more work from home kit left. I'm lucky because the next week after this particular spread, I am using, I have one more kit that's work from home inspired. So I use that. Then it's the week of my birthday. So I'm using a birthday kit. The week after my birthday, I have a particular kit lined up. Um, and then obviously I still need a couple after that. So we are today recording this voiceover on the 2nd of August. So the kits that I have bring me to the middle of July. So I probably need, just to be safe, I reckon at least another six work from home inspired kits. Um, I did have one lined up and I was going to do a collaboration with the beautiful Karen um, from, oh my God, it's been that so long since I've looked at her channel, Happily Planning with Karen. Um, I was going to do a collaboration with her, um, but because I've been so busy and I've just had so much on and so much happening with like work and all that sort of thing, we never got a chance to organize it. We probably still could because the kit that I have is very work from home, sort of couch, couch inspired, work from home, lays on the couch, sort of home homey vibe kit so I probably could still work it out um but I haven't contacted her lately because as you guys know I've not really been present on social media um within the planning community and it's just again like I, I can't really say anything other than I've been so busy so working from home our entire work schedule has changed the way that they operate our business has changed which as a result means that I am generally more exhausted after work every day and it absolutely sucks. Um, in addition to that, I've obviously been streaming. So most of the time I am streaming generally every night or at least three to four times a week at this point. So that takes up my time after work. Um, then obviously we have dinner, we shower, we go to bed and we do it all over again right through until Friday. Um, but I do also now co-manage a um, Facebook group, like a, a women's type group um, on Facebook with my best friend. Um, and in addition to that, we are working on a little secret side project, um, which we did announce on Facebook in the group that I just mentioned. Um, so for anyone who isn't part of that group, my best friend and I are working on launching a business. So for anyone who has been following me for some time now, um, you would know that previously I had my own business called Heavenly Bath Treats where I basically made bath and body treats. I have not operated that business since before my wedding and I got married in August 2018 just because I've not had the time um, and because a lot of what I made, well, a lot of what I, well, everything that I sold, I also had to make. So back when I was operating that business, I was working full time spending my entire weekend making product for that business. After work during the week, I was then packing orders and I was just exhausted. Like I couldn't do it anymore. So now it's been some time. My best friend and I have been talking for a couple of months about, you know, wanting to do something, um, wanting to run our own business. You know, we're both sick of working for the man, as they say, um, and we need an out. So we sort of spent a couple of months brainstorming and we came up with a business idea. So for anyone who is interested, um, you can find us on social media. So you can find us on Facebook under the name It's a Lux Life. Um, and you can also find us on Instagram 
with the same name except there's like a little underscore so it's it's a lux life underscore um so you can find us on both of those platforms you won't find too information as to what too much information as to what we're going to be doing yet unfortunately um because we want to keep that as under wraps until we get closer to launch date and yes we do have a launch date in mind and it is fairly close but we haven't sort of marketed our launch date yet because we are waiting on suppliers to get stock to us so obviously if we say hey we're launching on whatever date and then that date comes and we don't have all of our stock in we're obviously not going to launch so we didn't want to advertise our launch date until we were 100% certain it was going to go ahead on that date we have everything we need for that date um so yeah at the moment other than the business name there is nothing more I'm going to tell you. So you will have to check us out on Facebook and Instagram if you want to keep up with updates and you want to check us out. Um, obviously, we'd really, really appreciate the support because obviously launching a business is very scary, very tough and very expensive. Um, so we're really hoping that we do well come launch. But yes, enough about that. <laughs> um, so I am back. I am doing a plan with me. I'm going to aim... I caught back up again and it's such a shame that I let myself slip behind because I was, I think I caught up to, I think I had maybe three weeks that I hadn't done and now I'm sitting like back at six weeks. So bare minimum, I'm going to force myself to do at least one spread a week. If and when I have the chance, I may do two to try and catch up a little bit, but I don't want to push myself because for a couple of weeks there, lucky I had videos already scheduled um for a couple of weeks there just the idea of planning just did not inspire me at all so I didn't want to plan I couldn't be bothered um I didn't want to organize my stickers speaking of I still got I still have a huge container full of stickers that I have to go through because I really really want to do a de-stash because there's a lot that I'm just not going to use and that I'm not using so I'm going to work out maybe a de-stash and some rack packs but we will see and I still need to do my 300 subscribers giveaway. So I will eventually get around to it. Um, you guys know that <laughs> I eventually get things done. <laughs> but slowly and surely, I mean, slow and steady wins, wins the race. That's the same, right? Um, is there anything else to update you on life-wise before we get into the plans? I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it. I just telling you guys I'm behind again, that I'm launching a business. But other than that we're pretty much the same old same old so yeah I do apologize for my dog um it is three o'clock on Sunday afternoon almost four o'clock and our neighbors are mowing so of course my dog is going to bark for the entirety of this voiceover which I do apologize for but if I don't do it now I'm not going to get a chance to do it and this video won't go up tonight I do want to get it up tonight and I'm hoping it will go up tonight but if I don't finish this voiceover obviously that is not going to happen um, I think that's it. I feel like I kind of like mouth vomited, but I think that's all I needed to tell you. I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like I'll finish recording this and then be like, oh my God, I didn't tell them this. Oh, well, that's the update for now. If I remember by next week, I mean, I'll probably remember things as I start catching up on spreads as well, because obviously I'm recording things as I go, but that's it for now. So pretty much, like I said, this kit that we're using is Blackbird Print Co. I do bring in some Simply Gilded washi. Um, even though the, so I use the Stardust, but it is like a hollow silver and blue foil. But I feel like it still goes well with this spread, even though all of the details within the kit are gold. Um, I, do, <laughs> I did bring in underlays, so well, overlays. You can see that I'm laying those down now. But with how packed my week ends up being, you will see that they pretty much all disappear under the stickers. So it's kind of a bit of a waste. I'm a bit annoyed at myself for doing that. But it is what it is. It's done now. I did also try to be a little bit different in my spreads. So I constantly hear Vicky from Vicky Plan saying, you know, it gets boring to watch the person do the same things every week. Um, you know, it gets sort of repetitive, predictive. Predictive? I don't even know if that's a word, but it's predictable. Um, so I tried to be a little bit different. So you will see that throughout this spread, my glitter headers kind of get scattered. My full boxes don't line up. Um, 
they're not as organized as they would normally be. Like I normally have sort of a rhythm to how I place them, but that doesn't end up being the case in this spread. Um, so yeah, I tried to be a little bit different. I do like how it turned out. Um, but we will see for future because I'm so set in my ways <laughs> that it was very, very bizarre to plan in such an unorganized way, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it overall. So I better get talking about my spread because you all know that time likes to escape me, generally speaking. So the date dots that I brought in this week are gold date dots from Stella Bo Sticker Co. You will also see that at the end, um, I did end up placing some confetti headers on the glitter headers. Um, and those two are from Stella Bo Sticker Co. The little weekend banner that I go and use at the end of the spread is from Monique Plans. You will also see that I bring in um, some Arctic Paper Studio gold hearts. You see them sort of scattered every day there. They are to reflect the nights that I stream. It does minimize over the next couple of weeks, but that particular week I streamed every day, and that's just how I chose to mark streaming in this particular spread. And other than that, let's go through everything bit by bit. So on Monday, the first thing that I mark in is that it was my good friend Kirsten's birthday. So I've used that, I've used that, I've marked that in using a fox and cactus girl. Um, Kirsten I have known since I was five years old. I am now 32. So we've been friends for quite some time. So I wanted to make sure that I marked that in. I then use a sticker from Papershire to mark Coffee Monday. Underneath that, I've used a Stella Bow laptop to mark working from home. I then go ahead and use another laptop sticker, this one from Sticker Thief, to mark that I had to chase up um, a local events place. I don't want to say it too loud, and I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm trying to organize something for my husband's 30th. But um, they weren't getting back to me, and I don't think it's going to go ahead, but I chased that up on that particular day. And then, as I mentioned, I placed down a little heart sticker from Arctic Paper Studio, to mark that that particular night I did a 100 Babies Sims stream. Moving on to Tuesday, I've got another Stella Bow laptop there to mark working from home. And then used a little, like, um, what are they called? I know that Vicky, it's kind of like a half doily type thing. I don't even know where they're from. I had them in my stash somewhere. I think they might be lime and mortar. Um, and I feel like I should have used it more throughout the spread because I actually really like how it looks. But I, yeah, I just placed that there to fill in some space. I then use some deco from the kit to mark in that I chilled out on Tuesday after work. I use a little heart sticker from the kit to mark that I had a cup of coffee. And then underneath that, I've got a Scribble Prince Co. laptop sticker to mark that I had a Twitch binge right before I did another 100 baby stream on that night. On Wednesday, I've used some deco from the kit to mark that I had a day off. I then used further deco underneath that to mark out that I chilled all day, did nothing, took it very, very easy, which is my favorite thing to do on my days off. I then used a washing basket from Stella Bow Sticker Co to mark in that I did some laundry on my day off. And I then used a little YouTube icon from Stella Bow Sticker Co to mark that I had a bit of a YouTube binge that afternoon, which is rare these days. I feel like I don't watch a lot of YouTube, but that's probably because most of my time is spent on Twitch now. Um, and then on Wednesday night, um, I had a Rags to Riches stream. Moving over onto Thursday, again, I've got a little laptop there to mark working from home. You can't actually see the writing there because it is black ink on a black background. I really should invest in a white gel pen, but I haven't. So it's black ink on black sticker paper. Uh, then, then there's a few things that I marked on Thursday. So Thursday, I've then marked in my Rags to Riches stream. I used a little Once More With Love um, munchkin. I was going to say emote. I always do that. Um, but Once More With Love munchkin to mark that on that evening, I reached my affiliate goal on Twitch. So for anyone who knows anything about Twitch, to start earning money and to start getting subscriptions and things like that, you need to hit affiliate. You have to have 50 followers to hit affiliate. You have to have a certain amount of stream hours. I think you have to have streamed for seven consecutive days or seven days, a certain amount of hours. So it's a big achievement. Like it's, it's very hard to reach. You have to also have a certain amount of viewers, average viewers. And 
somehow I managed to reach affiliate within a week of streaming, which apparently is huge. Um, a lot of people that I know that have been streaming for some time, it took them two to three months, sometimes longer to achieve affiliate. And lucky me, I reached it within a week. I then used a little Debbie Downer sticker, sort of like peeking around the corner to mark that I rated my now friend Freya. So by rating, basically what that means is at the end of my Twitch stream, I send all of my viewers to someone's channel. And that particular night I rated who is now my friend, so her name is Freya, um, and I met her, and we've pretty much spoken like every day since. She's really, really lovely, and we've become friends, which is really nice. Uh, moving on to Friday, again, I've got another Stellabo laptop there marking in working from home. I then use another washing basket from Stellabo to mark in laundry. I've realized this is a very Stellabo heavy spread, but alas, it all worked, and I had no issues, so that is great. Friday evening, I've used one of my custom stickers from Sticker Thief to mark that my team played the Titans and we won 32 points to 12. I then use a Stellabo flat lay to mark that we had pizza for dinner. I didn't have any red wine. I don't like red wine, but we had pizza for dinner. <laughs> and that particular night, I did a 100 babies stream. Lots and lots of streaming this week. On Saturday... I've used a little parcel post sticker from Fox and Cactus to mark that I had a post office job. Well, actually, my husband did. I had to send out some Sensi orders, so my husband went and dropped the orders at the post office for me. I then used another Stella Bow YouTube icon to mark that I had yet another YouTube binge. Um, I've got another Stella Bow sticker there to mark doing some more laundry. So I did laundry a couple of times. I usually do laundry three to four times a week, just depending on the workload. And now that we have guinea pigs, I actually do laundry more than that. <laughs> so you might see laundry. It depends what I have to mark in the week. But if I do mark laundry, it's because I've done a lot of it. And most of the time it's because I don't have anything else left to fill that space. That particular night I did a rags to riches stream. And then I used a deco piece from the kit to mark that I got my first ever sub after having hit affiliate. And that is also again now... Um, my good friend Lincoln, so he was an acquaintance at the time, but he's now a friend, and he was my first channel subscriber, which was very exciting. Moving on to Sunday, we woke up on Sunday morning, headed into the local shops. I grabbed myself a coffee from McDonald's, and then I've used a little Stella Bow sticker to mark that we went to Pet Barn, hence the Pet Paw. The coffee cup was also from Stella Bow. I then use a Monique Plans coffee cup to mark that I needed more coffee when we got home and then a deco piece to mark that we had a chilled out afternoon and that night I did another 100 babies stream. I'm having so much fun with it. I hated it at the beginning but I'm now really really enjoying it so if you are interested in checking me out you can find me on Twitch under Emma Luxford. Um, other than that moving over to the sidebar just the usual stuff. So I use a Planet Goddess Studio YouTube icon and a Sticker Thief um, Instagram icon to denote my social media following for that particular week. However, I didn't record the stats, so they're not actually recorded. I just did that because that's what I normally put there. I then use a little bow sticker from Marshmallow Studio to mark that it was the 12th week working from home. And then I do a little like highlights section from Monday through Sunday of my highlights for each day of the week because I didn't have an extra full box to mark that in. So that's what I chose to do. If I didn't already mention it, the underlays that I did use that you can't really see are from Girlboss Anna. Um, and a lot of the functional boxes that I had to bring in are from Stella Bow as well, just because Black Purd Print Co. doesn't have enough boxes in her kits. She may have reformatted since I bought this. I don't know. Um, but yes. <laughs> so now I'm just taking you through what I have left from the kit. So I only had four pages. So I did use quite a bit, but there is also still a bit left over. Um, I'm really, really happy with how the spread turned out. I will just give you a little bit of a wiggle and a little bit of twerk. And if you do have any comments or feedback, leave it in the links, in the links. Leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. It really, really supports my channel. Um, but otherwise, I will reply to your comments below if you do choose to leave one. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.